and with that, I should be recording now. As soon as the game gets to a screen with something going on. So I can take a look at... This is taking a long time, actually getting a little bit worried. I This is my first time launching the game? There we go! Holy shit, this menu looks great. I heard someone say, or I saw someone say that I thought the menu looked like mobile game. I mean, some parts I can understand that, but I think this looks great. Like, the way the main box at the bottom... Mm, English. Would you like to start the game in a chosen language? Yes, please. Hello, I'm Carl, or Leo, for anyone who might watch this on YouTube. Am I, is this supposed to not have any noise? Yeah, I can hear the noise from that. Speaking of, it's gonna race. Actually, no, let's not race that. Um, well, I was kind of hoping for a menu screen so that I could like say my hellos. Um, long. I'll just start with this. The thumbnail for this video is based off of a panel from the Pokemon Adventures Diamond and Pearl manga, or maybe it was a platinum part. I actually forget. Which I actually used as inspiration for the shirt on my character. When I was first drawing um, the shirt, I got the idea, hey, I remember that happening in this game. So then I got the idea to copy the, the way that uh, Barry, or Pearl, as he's called in those games, no, in those mangas, has his uh, the arms of his shirt folded up, and then he can fold them out and then stripes. So... I just wanted to say that in case someone's confused about what the fuck the thumbnail is. Maybe I'll put the original panel in just to show it off. Comparison. Just on the first part. Anyways. um, So this isn't taking place in Scotland. But can I still do a Scottish accent? I can certainly try. Though it might not be good. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world, world of Pokemon. No, let's try and f make something that actually fits now. Also, music. Sounds like it's maybe okay. I'm gonna actually listen back, because I want to make sure that this is a good volume. Um, let's see now. Advanced audio properties. I'm gonna take this one and put it on both replay and normal, so that I can actually hear it. And then... Where is it? Video capture device. Okay, monitor and output. Okay. Game could be a little bit louder. This? I think that's good. Okay. I'm just gonna turn it back off so it's only audible to you guys. So I don't have to hear everything twice. There we go. Oh fuck, I just realized I was missing the music while I was fixing that. Fuck. I can hear the trumpets. I can hear the motherfucking trumpets. Fuck yeah. My name's Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. The little shit. I actually like Munchlax, so I was just trying to figure out what he was going to say. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Times we play together, and other times we work together. Play hard, we work hard. No, we work hard, we play hard. Some people use our Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Well, the first Pokemon game I ever owned was Pokemon Platinum, so I grew up with that, and um, that's why this is all very nostalgic for me, and I will most likely be wearing nostalgia goggles the entire game through. Um, I guess some opinions I should be getting out of there. When I first saw the chibi art style, I actually really liked it. I'd been lamenting for a while that it felt like the new art style that the games had during the remakes. Like, when that when the remakes got to 3D, it almost felt like they were losing out some of the... Is style the right word? No, Charm, 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 that's the one. Like, uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire still had the grid-based stuff, because Gen 6 was still grid-based, mostly. 
I mean, you had the free movement, but the world was still made in grid base. Meanwhile, um, Gen 7 and Gen 8 weren't really grid based in the same way. And I think that it's definitely impressive the way they are carrying the games forwards with the way everything looks. I think that's cool. However, part of me does feel like the locations wouldn't feel the same. Music! It's stupid and maybe even cringe whoever to some that I'm reacting so much from this fucking track. But the specific instruments they use, I don't even know which ones it is. It's not trumpet. Is it? Whatever the fuck this instrument is. It's just a huge fucking nostalgia instrument for me because of this game. <sighs> well, as much as I want to make a serious noise voice for him, I also really want to make a silly voice. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Should you see the photo from the lineup? That would be this one. I'm just gonna go with my real life name, because call me call me vanilla, but these games matter enough where I want to use my real name. Your name is Le your name's Leo. I lost completely by talking with my normal voice. Whoops. So your name's Leo. No. Okay, Seer Leo. A fine name it that is. Barry! Now, hello Matt, welcome on in! Nice seeing you again. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> oh no, I need to show this to my friend. Uh, when I grew up, uh... One of my childhood friends was actually in co it's, his name is Tommy, and I would name the rival Tommy just because they're both blonde. Oh my god. Oh, uh, should I? Oh, I don't know. I don't really want to. I, I, I think I might just go with classic Barry. Clint, Ralph, Lewis, Tommy. <laughs> name him Poop Nose. No. Oh, right. I need to send out a live notification. I completely forgot about that. There we go. Uh, hang on. Uh, excuse me for just a little bit. This is too much. I need to send this message to him. Oh boy. Oh, for Sorna in the corner? Uh, a little VTuber. Been working on him for a while. He's had different revisions and different versions. You can't see him too well right now because the, the game is so fucking bright. I've got a little uh, lighting thing. A lighting filter or whatever to make him shine in the colors that are around him. It usually works well, but right now everything is a bit too bright. Well, um, is it Barry with an A or an E? Um... Hang on. I'm also tempted to name him Pearl, just because that's his name in the Pokemon. Oh, well, if I wanted to po follow the Pokemon Adventures manga, then I would have had to be playing as Diamond. Because, um... Barry, the rival, is actually the one named Pearl, while the player character is the one named Diamond. Pokemon Gen 4 rival. What is... You're okay, Barry with an A. I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, Barry with an A. Just making sure that it wasn't like Barry with an E. I remember when I was young, I thought it was the same word, so I was really confused why his name wasn't Barry. No, no, no! <laughs> oh, fucking slip. I was thinking so much about Barry, I. Oh, fuck. <sighs> What can I even say about that, really? Oh, fuck, can I even say about that? Hmm. Well, let's actually go now. <laughs> fuck. Barry is. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? This voice is becoming awful. There's so much talking between it, I lose it every fucking time. 
I'm just going to read the side of this herb salt I have here. No, no, I can't because it's in Swedish. Fuck. Uh, what about this thing? Is this thing written in English? Important. Um. Fuck, I won't be able to use, read words like this. Fuck. I need to practice the voice, but there's not enough anywhere I can try. Barry, is it? Is that your friend's name? Yes. Alright, Leo, time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that all along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Matt. I hope you've been well since last time. Uh, despite the exploration team's best effort, the only colored Pokemon eluded detection. Rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleeting to the crestfallen team. Even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. What? That's cool. Uh, so could this? Li I mean, Red Gyarados. Everyone knows Red Gyarados. Oh, exploration team makes me think about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Is this meant to be a specific reference, or like is this just talking about Team Rocket, or was there a specific exploration team that I don't know about? Well, that's a nice team. <laughs> oh, so cute. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Wet. Nationwide Wet. Fuck. Nationwide net. I missed a text because of that. Fuck. Oh my god. They really are just fucking... based. And I don't mean that as in, like, cool, but just the shape of them, like their feet. It looks like the base of, like, a statue or something. I'm honestly all for it. Um... I was saying this before, but I when I first saw the style of this game, I actually got really happy, because I realized that this style being here means they can keep the same chibi charm that I felt that the 8-bit style had. I really like this, to be honest. This is how I would want a remake of these games to be. I mean, I did also see then the fan-made... The fan-made test remake where they did it in the Gen 8 engine and it looked really beautiful. So when I saw that, I got really crestfallen and sad that we didn't get that. But at the same time, I'm also really happy about this. It's the latest game console, a Nintendo Switch. TV is turned off. Do I still like have a potion in this or is this something else? Or was that just for earlier games, maybe? Can I still walk into you from the side? No! Best feature gone! Okay, no, it looks... You have to push the button, but then it works. You just walk into it. Wonderful. <laughs> kind of works. Oh, you've been walking the grid nice. Leo, Barry came calling for you a little, a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Alright, Mum. I'm gonna have a hard time not actually making those... I'm gonna have a hard time trying not to make those voices, because I'm probably going to make them. I've just had too much fun voice acting with that. Here we are, it's a contest digest. Star of the show in today's normal rank toughness contest is... Dominic, who overwhelmed with his eerily vocal Pokémon. That's all the time we have today, let's meet again. Toast. This is where mom does all her delicious cooking. Toast. What, what if I want cookies? Give me cookies. No, uh, uh, can I have this and re-roll my hand? Oh, no, that's not a clover and this isn't inscription. Oh yes, Leo, don't go into tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... When I first played this game, I was actually really confused. Both this game and most other Pokemon games, which start you off in a town. Oh, this game looks beautiful. This game really looks beautiful to me. Uh, but 
the fucking texture on the grass? Why is the fucking texture on the grass making me feel good? Like, that specific green with a little bit of light green, a little bit of dark green, and it looks like... It actually looks like they used a specific palette. Like, yeah, there are various shades of them. Like, there's several shades of a brighter one, and there's several shades of a darker one. But they're also... ...separated into three distinct ones, which makes it look like it's actually made using a specific palette, like old fucking pixelated art. Ah! Why? Why is this so fucking cool to me? Techno technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world, wirelessly. I'm glad you never changed. Oh shit, we're gonna get to see the thump? Hello. Oh nice, you've even got a chair underneath the table as well, that's a nice little detail. Did you hear? The Pokemon Professor returned to the next town over. This A was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Hello. Listen, listen, Leo, I want a cute Pokemon. Is that like our... I remember this game you had like a little sister. Is that our little sister then? I didn't see them in the house, so... Twinleaf Town, fresh and free. Weird place to put the post sign, or the sign? Was that there in the original game? I don't remember. It's true the wild Pokémon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokémon also let you become friends with them. Alright. In the middle of a road, yeah? Not just the middle of a road, in the middle of a crossroad of all things. You're off to hang with Barry again, right? You two sure are tight. You know... This is the first game where I actually kind of feel like this is a small town, everyone knows each other. They're not just giving out random dialogue. Did you know... ...that Pokémon exist? Did you know you can press X to do... Go me... Oh, shit! I would have needed to have this little text box when I was like a kid playing this game. Because in the beginning of a game when... I don't know. I don't know what because this game really isn't that hard to get through. I just must have completely misunderstood something. Or it was the earlier games in the series where I misunderstood. I think it was whenever I played the Gen 1 games on Game Boy at a friend's place that I just fucked up and just did not know how to actually get the Pokémon. I don't know why. I think I just had an aversion to talking to anyone. Whenever there were people around, I just didn't want to talk to them because I didn't actually have ability to read English very good. Oh, and it's a bag with a different pouches for different stuff. I know that's something they do in every game, but it's still fucking cool to me to see any part. And the icons that look different when you hover over them. I really love how they took the fucking text box aesthetic and made it for all the menus. I know that was how it was in the first game too, but still. Options. Text speed. Oh. Oh. And these even look like just updated versions of the old ones. I am probably boring the YouTube crowd incredibly, if there ever even is a YouTube crowd. I'm just fucking... I'm just walking around, getting mind blown by the tiniest of things. Oh, that one's cool, looking like a fucking Pokedex. Hello, pirate noob! <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, that one's cool. Probably gonna keep it as a uh, set one. Battle effects, absolutely. Switch. Uh, you can just have Pokemon automatically sent to your boxes when your party full. The ultimate manual. You see me in the bottom left, you two people. <laughs> yeah. However, do you wish to tilt your Joy-Con for controls in certain locations? I don't know what that's gonna be, but that sounds cool. Auto save. Damn, this game has auto save. The future! It's the fucking future! You can select if you want to show your Pokémon's nicknames during Link battles. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, and now you even have the actual sound options from the beginning, and you don't need to pick up an item like in Gen 8. That's cool. I mean, you can turn off autosave if you want to, but 
yeah, these guys feel more like people that actually know you and not just random NPC number whatever. I know, I go in there to thump into the other dude. I didn't actually mean to go out, I wanted to go talk to you. Hi Leo, Barry was looking for you. I think he's home now, why don't you go check it out? Oh, same thing. These flowers are so pretty, the trees are so cool! And then it's just a grass texture with a couple of things looking better. FUD! That's the one! They even had the fucking sound effect, thank god. I know your secret, you little motherfucker. I know you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, you just have it rolled up. I know your secret. You Pokemon chibi version be like... <laughs> I love the chibi art style, I'll be honest. Maybe it's a bit of cope, I don't know. But I was genuinely happy when I first saw it, at least. FUD! Music! What was that about? Oh, hey Leo! I'm going to the lake, you should come too. And be quick about it. Okay, Leo, I'm finding you one million pokey if you're late. Oh jeez, I forgot something. I'll be honest. When he just stopped over here, I thought he was gonna take like a super slow turn and then go over there. But no. They actually just make them turn around instantly now instead of having them do a slow turn. Hmm. I'm also now noticing, this is the first time I'm trying to walk by tilting the stick only slightly, but you only have one movement speed currently. I'm okay with that, I don't mind it. I was just noticing that I couldn't like spin in place as easily. But yeah, that was like one of the complaints about Gen 8, where some whenever you were in cutscene and people turned around, they just... Boop, 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 and then walked. I was worried he was gonna do that, but no, he just stood still and then turned around when his brain caught up to what he was doing. Try again. Take two. Oh, should you guys got coffee cups? We only have cookies. Well, cookies are good. Oh, hi, Leo. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back right home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who it takes after. Well, I don't... Oh, wait, right. No, we do know his dad. Never mind. I better take my bag and my guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Leo. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's ten million pokey fine if you're late. God damn it! let me do the power move. Fuck, I can't sleep in this bed as a power move. Well, what do you have on your computer? Computer. My computer, help! It's the ball the downloading. You check the PC screen. Adventure rule number one, the X button opens the menu. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. There's nothing else on here. <laughs> I mean, that's all you really need to know. Oh, I did want to mention, actually. The way the walls look as well, and like the clock... Like, the, the way the clock itself doesn't have any outlines between the different colors... I really like how they make the colors look... I don't know what it is... But they really did a good job of making me feel like this is just an updated version of a previous game. I'm enjoying it a lot. Like, it has the same art style, it has the same vibe... I'm... I'm happy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to emotionally connect with it as much as I would if it looked, say, realistic. We'll have to find that out by playing it. No other way about it. We'll see. I hope so. I hope I'll be able to enjoy it. Can I go here now? Yes, I can. Can I talk to you first? What do you say now? Uh, you looking for Barry? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Okay. Walk. I need to let race for the thing. <laughs> this might end up being the first game where I actually download the whole soundtrack, since these are songs that have actually kind of been with me ever since I was a child. Whenever new games came out, I come out, I almost never actually download a f or get a full soundtrack of something. This one, I might do that. I don't think there's going to be a single song 
that is gonna... I don't know. That I'm not gonna be able to hum along to. I'm just really happy. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of a furious uh, Pokemon in the lake. Okay, so this was in the first game. Now I'm starting to remember it, because wasn't this his reason for wanting to go there as well? Or something similar, at least. That show got me thinking. Um, I don't want to do that quick voice for him. Because I really like Barry. Well, also, I especially like him because, you know, I've read the Pokemon Adventures manga. And there they really develop all the characters properly. Sure, his name is Pearl in that manga, but still. That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So, that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find Pokemon like that. Oh my god, we're even doing a stretch. Oh, we are like Diamond in that game. Oh wait, that's our idle animation. <laughs> I thought he was just stretching in response to a conversation. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what Diamond is like in the manga, which is, you know, the manga version of a playable character is named Diamond. He's just a tired, lazy boy who loves to eat. Ah, oh, they even have a classic way of doing the roads. Maybe good, maybe bad. As nostalgia, I kind of like it. One thing that I just noticed that is taking me out of experience immensely is how bright the grass in the opening between the trees are. Like, if it, made, if it made that darker, or maybe completely black so you couldn't see anything at all, or just dark green. But now that it's so bright, it just makes it look really open and empty a bit. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Hopefully we won't get that view as often, but currently it's making me feel a not good feeling. So I just wanted to bring that up. Alright, to the lake, let's find us a let's find us a red Gyarados. What's what's going on? Professor, isn't there anything out of ordinary on Professor, there isn't anything out of ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we've seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. You're leaving me! Professor! Uh, Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There are many kinds of Pokémon in Sinnoh. There are many rare kinds of Pokémon in Sinnoh. We're each interested to serve us as well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let's pass, please. Riffraff rabble. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. What's that about? Those two. Huh? Leo, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be very long enough for po wild Pokemon to come out. Just saying fuck for rules. Fuck the rules. Fuck the rules. I have energy. I have hyperactivity. It's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who are they? I heard him say professor. Oh no! P -p Pokemon! What's going on? Click. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want, then? Nope. I-I-I know who I'm picking. Same as it always has. Same as always. As it always has been, as it always will be. Yes. This game even got a fucking animation with the grass sliding over you. instrument as well. They even have that thing back. Hell yes. I have no idea what instrument that is. Is it just synth? I don't know. 
But man, it's a, a nostalgic instrument for me. But for real though, I want my fucking hat. I, <laughs> this guy doesn't look the same without his hat, I gotta say. Give me the fucking golfing hat. Old man golfing hat. While Starly use tackle. Um, one thing I've heard a lot of people say is that they don't like how all of the 3D Pokémon look kind of like they're made out of rubber. I pers- I can understand. I'm not gonna say they're wrong or anything. I do personally enjoy it though, as a kid who collected these little Pokémon toys, like... In the toy stores they would sell small Pokéballs with some candy in it and then a plastic model of a Pokémon from the current active generation. And, well, they were made of plastic. So to me, this just feels extra nice. Like something I already liked. It's my personal opinion of most of the 3D ones. Also, it looks like they actually are using new models for Piplop. I, I certainly don't recognize it, at least. Then again, was Piplop ever even in Gen 8? I don't know if I would have seen him. Oh yeah, it is a him, actually, as well. Just checking. Hound. Down to Pound Town. Your Pokémon gained experience points. Oof, your po- your- Your Poplip. Your Piplup totally rocked! My turtle works far tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokémon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, won't- Will they? Oh, there's the briefcase! The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did did you use the Pokemon that were in there? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor gonna say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Nice bag. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Leo, let's get out of here. The Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know I have to ret go return these Pokémon for not hours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. This is one of the few times where it's not just, oh, you chose this Pokémon, I'll choose this Pokémon. I mean, that's what happened, sure, but it's lore-wise, it's not just, oh, you chose this Pokémon, I'll cho choose what's strong against it. Hello, Ron. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. Heard from Dawn that you used our Pokémon. Well, let me see him, please. Heard from Dawn that you used our Pokémon. Let me see him, please. Piplup and Turtwitch. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you! What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could just yell at us or whatever. Didn't he want his Pokémon back? Leo, we should go home too. Cool. What's up, dear? What's up? I don't think that she would say, was up. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjum Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. He's also quite intimidating. What's that? <laughs> Leo, I think you need to visit him in Sanjum Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokémon. Oh yeah, Madflat, if you're still here listening, uh, I am managed to get into the beta program that allows me to have follower emotes. So if you look at the emote list, there should be currently only one emote there that you can use for free. I used to have five of them, but then the update came out that gave everyone five, no, four extra regular sub-slots, so I moved some of them over there, because... Uh, with a follower emotes, you can only use them on your own channel, but with sub emotes, you can use them on other people's channels as well. So I moved them there so I can use my own emotes on other people's channels. 
Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know. Leo, put these on. They actually changed the model of my character when you put the running shoes on. I specifically noticed that there was like a black stripe on them and it's, it, it went away. I can only see white parts of the shoes now. Going to Sanjim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get from far away places much faster. Okay, let me read you the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Not sure how to use it? Uh, oh yeah, also it only works if you're on PC. If you're on mobile, it doesn't work. I just remember that. If you're on PC, you should just be able to open up the emote list and there should be one of them. But uh, yeah, if you're on mobile, then no. That would be it, yeah. On the other hand, you can use uh, channel points to unlock emotes, which you get for free just by watching. No PC? Ah, uh, I see. And okay, I don't need to hold down the B button to run anymore, it just happens. Oh, Gecko Beast! Thank you for subscribing, I guess. That just happened out of nowhere, so I wasn't prepared for it. I just heard a tiny dring from the headphone laying on my table. Thank you! I don't have any fancy thing like welcome to the whatever, but thank you very much. Imagine being on mobile on the mouse, says Pirate Noob, a mobile user. A known mobile user. <laughs> Alright, now we can run much faster. And honestly, it feels good. It feels a little bit weird when you're running downwards and the head is just stationary while the entire rest of the body moves. Running upwards looks okay, because the head, the back of the head bobs up more than the front of the head does, and also the backpack swinging from side to side. When you're running downwards, your entire torso gets covered by your head, obscured. So it just looks like your head and your arms, like your head is just floating there. I actually like it, I think it looks very funny, but I did have to mention that I noticed it. Told you I would sub when I could? Well, I'm still very thankful for it. I'm not gonna pretend that it's not a thing that happened just because you told me about it. Very much appreciated, man. Uh, also, you just saying it is not gonna make... I, I'm I'm not gonna hold people to things like that. So... Try it hard. Uh, is, is that non-binary? No, no, no. Non-binary non is for bright ones, isn't it? Aromantic, asexual. Yeah, I think Ace is the one that's green. No, aromantic is the one that's purple and yellow. Is it non-binary? I'm sorry. I. Do... Why the fuck am I asking? I can just hover over it. It is Ace. Okay. I'm a fucking dumbass. I forgot I can just hover over it. You have anything new to say now, Barry? He went tearing off in a huge rush a while ago. I know. I just keeping my promise, lol. And eh, I wouldn't consider that promise. Like, unless you specifically say, I promise, I wouldn't consider it a promise. I'm not... A, I don't consider people saying, oh, I'll do this, as them making a promise or a vow. You did? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> I guess that's gonna be how I leave that. Oh, wait, right, why am I spamming the B button? That's not how I dash here. Wasn't that, like, how Barry told you you can get through the grass... Oh, wait, no, 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 he just said keep dashing, and me, as a child, thought that meant keep, like, start the dash and end the dash over and over, like that. Oh. Uh, this is Brilliant Diamond. No. This is Shining Pearl, I'm sorry. I just mixed them up for a moment. I got, um... Shining Pearl, because I like Palkia more than Dialga. Um, I like how it even has a xylophone in the background. They're reusing the things they made the music out of originally. Which I'm very happy with. It really helps get me the same vibe I had when I was younger. Wild Star Liu's Tackle. I mean, also, I think the most nostalgic version of this song for me is actually the one from Smash Bros. That's the one I've heard the most, because it's, like, even in the new Smash Bros. 
And whereas the music from the game itself I haven't heard since, you know, I played the game when I was way younger. <laughs> Excuse me. I hope the house is back where you can, like, buy a ton of furniture. I actually really like that. All Pokémon lower in tall grass. They come bursting. They can come bursting at any time. So if you're wanting to, if you're wanting to battle wild Pokémon, just walk in the tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokémon, then stay out of it. You daft bunt. I don't know if that's even a real word. I hope it wasn't an actual bad word. Is there anything this way, or is this just a shortcut to get through without? I love that the fucking FUD noise is back. It's a, such a simple thing, but it makes me happy anyways. I didn't see any Pokeball. Also, um, what I complained about, about it looking samey and empty underneath the trees. You only notice that when your camera actually goes all the way up, which it rarely does. If your Pokemon's health is... it's HP, he's getting low. You should go home and get some rest. Training tips. Don't be shy. Talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you will get invaluable information and advice, and sometimes even gifts. Hello. Are you a trainer? No. Gotta go. Sorry, pal. Don't worry about it. Take care, Gecko. Hi. I work at a Pokemart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? HP for short. If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a sample. These ones are free. They'll automatically go into your bag's medicine pocket. You obtain potions. Put the potions in the bag's medicine pocket. Like this. This kind of dialogue. Did you know that HP stands for health points? Wow! That's the kind of non-dialogue I was expecting from the starter town. So I was impressed that they actually had, like, people who knew you. Hello. Well, that's just a one-way... Jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. I'll never forgive you if you leave Gecko, bruh. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. Ah, oh, the house. The tiling on the house. And just the way it all looks. I just love this style so much. Man... I think this specific track was the only one I didn't really care for, maybe because it shows up so rarely? I, I don't- I'm not sure. This is it, our Pokémon Research Lab. Let's go! FUD! <laughs> what the- oh, it's you, Leo! That old guy, he's not as scary as he's- He's not scary so much as he's totally out there. Nah, it doesn't matter. Leo, I'm outta here, see you later. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Oh yeah, one thing I'm really excited about is, like, ever since Gen 7, original Sun and Moon, I have fucked up every single time I've played Pokémon. I've put the restriction on myself to only use Pokémon from a new generation, or new forms for old Pokémon, like Galarian forms, whatever. Problem is, um, um... One, that doesn't always make a good team combo, balance, whatever. Secondly, I also, as soon as I finish leveling up them fully, I put them away and get a new Pokémon, because I try to simultaneously play the game while I'm also doing the Pokédex filling. Did you know it's really hard at the end of a game when you're fighting against trainers with level 70 Pokémon? While you are using Pokémon that can't get above level 35, because when they evolve and get replaced by a Pokémon that's level 10. Did you know that's really hard and kind of kind of makes it really hard to objectively judge how hard a game is? Also, I really like Dawn's boots. Like, them some fucking Mega Man shoes. Also, that giant fucking pocket. Nice. Finally, you've come. Leo, was it? Let me see that Pokémon again. Hmm, oh, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather this Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Uh voice. Hmm, oh, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then, I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now it is yours, would you like to give it a nickname? 
Sure. Fuck, we're going with a classic. Uh, I always named my Piplup after my cat, rest in peace. Back then, the cat was still alive, but I'm gonna do it now anyways. Fuck. I'm going on the thing anyways. Actually, no, because then I'm gonna feel fucking bad whenever they do anything. I won't be able... I'm gonna be too emotionally attached. I don't want to tie it to, like, my real life or anything. Okay, change of plans. What can I name the Piplup? Ploppy. <laughs> no. Uh, Pingu. No. Uh, f uh, Sarah, for Saratonin. It was a girl, Guinever. Guinever would be perfect. I don't know what... I, I Is that a reference I don't know? If some of all... Sorry, but Sarah for Saratonin. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? And you're happy with that nick? Eh. I'm back, had to Google something, I'm farming something with Warframe. No worries, I just named my Piplup Sarah for Saratonin. Yep. Your friend Barry, t your friend Barry, told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokémon. Oh, it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplup. No, just a pun. Well, explain the pun to me. I don't know it. The only thing I can think of is Papa Guinea. Penguin Guinevere. Guinevere. Oh, just because it starts with Gwyn? I thought maybe the Navir part meant something specific. Or is that a part of some specific... Penguin's uh, species, whatever? I'm so glad you're kind to what... I'm so glad that you're kind to what Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Oh god. Don? Don? Are you carrying a gun in that bag? Uh, alright. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main top. Heard something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. It is always necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask you. I want to entrust you with a Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. No, just a Gwyn. Fair enough. Hmm, good answer. Good answer, good answer. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It'll automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Leo, I ask you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in a region. I've got one too! Is it installed on your gun? When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what do you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Oh, how long can we zoom in? Okay, now that's all the zoom. Them saying the word frill made me want to try and remember the name, the, the, the lyrics for Snake Eater, but I can't. I just know at one point she, they just kind of go frill at, I don't know, very, a little high-pitched for a while. Also, that mustache looks a little bit far down on your face now that I have to look at it for so long. Ah. Now, you should know there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many frills awaiting you out there. Now go! Leo, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimcha. You would have chosen Chimcha of a lake, would have the same Pokemon now. That's bullshit! That is such bullshit! No, that's not how it works. Did she say that in the first game too? That's not how it works. 
I like, though, that they tried to make it seem like it's not just them being assholes and picking the things that you're weak against, or them being idiots and picking the thing that you're strong against. I like that they at least didn't do that. On th they tried to avoid that, lore-wise. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head sad on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Leo. Dum, 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 dum. Step, 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 step. Uh, talky, talky. I'm Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Professor Rowan invited, invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Oh, I forgot they worked together. Both Gen 2 and this game have that in common, then. Wait, did Gen 3 also do that? I don't remember enough about Birch. I just remember him running from Pokemon when you had to save him. I don't remember if he ever, like, talked about meeting... Uh, Oak, that's his name. <sighs> I don't think there's much I can steal. Refrigerator is filled with tasty sweets. Mmm. Oh, that's a nice bit of character building. You check the PC. The screen is filled with special terms and academic writing that's impossible to figure out. Can I just, like, have him do the idle pose of him yawning? I want to see that from the front, because I only saw it from the back before. Head tilt. Head tilt. There we go. Big fucking stretch. Hell yeah. Oh, here you are. Okay, Leo, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer, and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This fucking song slaps. This song slaps harder than the guy slapping the watermelon in that one fucking meme video. Let's go! This building, this building with a red roof is a Pokemon Center. It's a place for healed Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Doing this voice reminds me I still need to go back and do, um, finish Pokemon Snap. I just have the extra stuff, like the one level that was, the levels that were added in the free update left. The building with a blue roof over here is a Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Leo, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. But don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Leo. Do you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Hello. Oh wow, Pokemon are so cool. I wish I had some. Get fucked, child. Oh no no no, not 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 that way. Get fucked, nerd. You can help yours get stronger by having them in battle. So I don't forget what's happened till now. I'd better save this. There, now I can take a break. Sand Gym Town, it's town of sand. <laughs> All right. Thing, 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 thing. You found an antidote. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. That thing you have, it's Pokedex, isn't it? Now that you're off to see all kinds of Pokemon, lucky you. Is this close? No, the window looked like it was close, so I wasn't sure. No, it's just people in here. A good trainer is one that takes care not to let for Pokemon faint from losing HP. Pokemon grows steadily stronger from battling against other Pokemon. First, you should heal your Pokemon regularly at the Pokemon centers while you're leaving, leveling them up. Okay, so this is the classic Pokemon NPC dialogue that we're getting into now. Oh, wait, no, here? Okay, so it wasn't... Okay, I, wa I, I was remembering wrong. It wasn't our sister. It was the rival's sister or assistant's sister or whatever. Who are you? Oh, 
You're Leo? Hey, you're doing that Pokemon thing, Pokedex thingy for a professor. Wow, that's the same as my big sister. Go for it. Oh yeah, she'd like roots for you instead of her sibling, I think. Ah, so that Rowan fellow is back. He's quite a remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and grandchild help Rowan with his studies now. Cool. Can I go, like, find some... Juicy deets? Check the PC screen. Don't you... Really? Same... Books, then? No cool books? Trash can? Trash can is empty. Of course it is, it's always empty. Chock full of Pokemon books and, f books and photo collections. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Been going for an hour and I'm only here. Uh boy. Now I know why I'm playing, why I'm feeling like, like I have to go and interact with everything. I'm playing this like I'm playing Delta Ruin. that's what it is. That's why I keep thinking like every single piece is something important that needs to be interacted with to read the funny dialogue. Was this how the PCs looked in this game? I don't remember this at all. You booted up the PC. Which PC should be accessed? Someone's. The Pokemon boxes were accessed. Funny dialogue, yeah. How many boxes do we have? Oh, that's a bit of a slow crawl. I mean, I can uh, switch box and then go to them, so that's fine. Wait, was it? Oh, interesting. So the square pattern on this one is just from the background. It's not actually the, a part of a UI. Also, this one looks very pretty. Let's just look at the backgrounds. So there's the classic grass tile texture. Classic town. Brick road. Classic beach with some pebbles. I like that this one still also looks kind of shit. Like, it is a repeated pattern and then they put the rocks randomly, but it's the same rock for each of them. Same with this one and the way that there's just sometimes a flower. Or not a flower, but a plant. Like, that's what I was talking about with the grass. How there's a specific texture and then sometimes there's one bit of detail that makes it different. But other than that, it's almost practically a repeating pattern, which I actually like. Cave, I guess, or rocky outside. Volcano. Snow. This is cave, okay. Beach. Underwater. River. Cloud. And then it's patterns. Metal, I guess. Metal bricks. Picnic. Uh, what, what is it? Corkboard. Corkboard. Space. Then this one. Are there any more? Changes wallpaper. Oh, I can. S <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. So the rest of these are the ones we already saw, right? Yeah. I remember in the original game you had to like actually select them and then open the menu anytime you wanted to see them. Like you had to select them one by one. You can just scroll through them. Machine, yeah. Checks, simple, space, backyard, nostalgic is nice. Torchic. Trio. Ah, oh, that's nice. Pika Pika. Legend. Team Galactic. Oh, <gasps> it's... It's the thing! Yes! I'm so happy about this. Because I actually downloaded the original version for Pokemon Platinum of this and redrew it higher picture or higher quality and have that. Do I still have it? Uh, yes. Yes. Add. 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 Display capture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, how do I get this to show for both of them? Look! Just also quickly panicking, looking for it to make sure I don't have anything bad on here. Look! It's the fucking thing! Like, yeah, I fucked up in a couple of places when I redrew it, but... Ah! 
It's the fucking thing! That makes me so happy! Like, that legitimately makes me so happy. <sighs> I hope that actually shows up properly. Hang on, did it? Let me see the preview. Uh... Oh, the preview doesn't actually change. Well, if I move you around... Okay, yeah, it, it, it seems that it does work. Good. And I'm gonna remove this to make sure I don't accidentally bring it back at some point when I'm doing something else. Oh, that's so fucking... Oh, I mean, it makes sense it would be here, but that still makes me so happy. Trio from Platinum. Contest from Platinum. Pika Pika from Platinum, where we added Raichu. Platinum's version of Nostalgic. And Legend, yeah, that one's good too. Krogunk, of course. Team Galactic from Platinum, nice. Oh, that's so cool. And then, change name. Yep, okay, I'm good. Thank you. Do you see that PC over there? If a fancy blue one? If you've got Pokemon with you, it's free to use. Can I actually open the map on this thing? Yes, I can. Oh! Uh, the case that this came in has a reversible cover. Some of the ones from 3DS had it as well, like, specifically the Gen 3 remakes had this. Where the reversible cover, the inside, I think Gen 6 XY had it too. The inside of a reversible cover was just a map of a region, but like, as if it was painted. Not this kind of style of a map where it's stylized, but they actually made it look like a real place. Like they drew out each individual mountain and made them look hooked together, whatever. It's cool. I like that that's a thing. Also, I remember now how these fucking roads... <laughs> yeah, there's just roads which are big. I don't know. If that's actually what I was remembering, but still. Oh, and here's the place where you can, like, find a data and a ton of other shit. It's where... Well... In the manga, this is where Dawn lives. She's not the professor's assistant in the manga. Or maybe she's both, I forget. But she's like the daughter of the, bi the billionaire that lives here. Also in the manga, Dawn's name is Platinum. Uh, okay, so the resort area is here. I don't know how I feel about them showing off the resort area immediately. Because I think it wasn't available on the map until you actually got it in the previous one. I mean, it, it, it doesn't feel like something that really matters, it's just a difference that I noticed. Mount Corona? No, Stark Mountain. Mount Corona was from somewhere else. Wait, is that? Oh, Mount Coronet, not Corona. <sighs> where the fuck does this lead again? Oh, right, now I remember this is like the special place where you can go to catch Pokémon that you transfer over from previous games. I just didn't have any other previous games to transfer over Pokémon from. Mount Corona, yeah. <laughs> um, funny story, actually. I've said this before on stream, but, well, might as well tell it now. Actually, I'll show this. Um, later on in the game, when you're, like, supposed to go to the top of Mount Coronet, I actually got stuck. Like, I couldn't find the right path up, so I just went back and forth and ended up fighting too many Pokémon. I got my Empoleon to level 100 just by fighting the fucking Obama Snows there. Like, Fuck. Does upstairs do anything still? Okay, okay, okay. But if I remember right, I'm not allowed in here if I only have one Pokemon. I'm nervous about going to the local room. Maybe in this game, I'll actually get to find out about what the fuck the festival-looking place for online is. Because I, I, like, I, I tried to find it. I really tried to find where it is. I saw it on the back of a box, or like in the manual, but I could never find it. Like, it was a place where you could ride Pokemon boats, and then you could, like, have an egg roulette and whatever the fuck else. I was never able to fucking find it. I still have no idea what the fuck that is. Meow. I need to actually get a drink real quick. Where did I put my bottle? Oh fuck. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. 
Uh. I got some pear juice. That's good. That's some good fucking drink right there. I like how we're like the only... <laughs> we're like the rich people of a village. Me and Barry, our families are the only place that, places that actually have like... Houses instead of small cabins. Welcome home, Leo. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. Uh, I don't know. Something about the way they just said, Take a rest. You're assisting a rest. I think I might chill with the voices a bit because my throat is, uh,. Not babe, not doing too well. What's up, Leo? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Leo. I got something that you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. You put the guidebook in your bag's key items pockets. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I am a you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon wish with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking. I'll be all by myself, dear. I'll be all right by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother very happy, too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Guidebook. Useful information for your adventure will be added to the guidebook. You can check your bag's key items at any time. Depressed, Mom. <laughs> She's cool. Oh, excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? Oh, right, we need to give the map to Barry. That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted out. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Leo will deliver that to him. Won't you, Leo? Can I say no? I want to see what happens. Really? You do that for me? Leo, please take this to Barry for me. I actually felt bad and I wouldn't have said no because that would have been a dick move. You obtained the parcel. You put the parcel in your bag's key items pockets. My jaw is starting to hurt from reading too much. Please let me just go. Uh. Bye bye, Leo. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. If not my boy, he would probably head straight to Tube Life City. Okay, take that to my Barry. Please. Like, that's not a complaint to the game itself. I just read bad. Oh, Leo, you're forgetting something important. Yes! 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 Yeah, that hat always did suit you well, Leo. I want this hat in real life so much. Now, off you go. Let's fucking go! <laughs> yes! Uh, can I actually buy Pokeballs yet? I don't think I can. Also, I should have talked to people in here. Because I think I remember them sometimes giving you stuff. If you come across Poke... Oh, it's a fucking banger! <laughs> fucking banger! And it just fucking... Slapped me in the face when I came in here. Fuck. If you come across a Pokemon, you just gotta have throw a Pokeball. Never leave home without one. Pokemon loses all its HP, it can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid having that happen. Hello. Welcome. May I help you? I'm here to buy. 
Can buy Pokeballs. Yes. No, 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 no. Back. Yes, bye. I thought they were gonna, like, give me a couple first. Let me take ten, sure. Oh, Rhea, one Premier Ball. I forgot about that. I just took the ten because it was a nice number. Like, I should be able to catch at least one Starly with that. Let me listen to this again. Hmm. I'm not quite as excited about the Pokemon Center music. I don't know why. Also, who are you? I'm very sorry, we're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Please try later on. Okay. I don't remember if that was something that was actually in there. Like... I don't remember if that's something that was in the original game or if that's new. Because I never used any floor other than the first floor, because I had no one to play with. I didn't know how any of it worked. Um, um, Alright, I want to go back and catch a Starly. Wait, no. Can I catch a Starly up here? Oh, Dawn is there, so I'm gonna... Wait, Dawn's... Isn't Dawn supposed to teach me how to catch Pokémon? What if I catch a Pokémon beforehand? I remember that being like a skip you could do in... I forget which game it was. Was it Gen 8? You could like buy Pokeballs before the game gives them to you and then if you catch a Pokemon you actually get to skip the tutorial. Gaming! Hello Mercury! Hope you're doing well. Oh, but do I want the boy though? Oh fuck! Resubscribed. Gaming, gaming, gaming. <laughs> gaming indeed, fucking hell. You know what, I think I'll just try and kill this one, but it might be hard with uh, it lowering my attack. Not too much, two more. Subscribe for four months? What?! When the fuck did I miss all of those? Looks like you only just started, huh? I've been streaming for an hour and twelve minutes. <laughs> uh, well, I did just start it in an hour ago. I was feeling really bad, um, I was having a lot of fucking tech issues. I can talk about that when I get a bit more into it. So I was just resting feeling bad. And then I felt better enough to start playing about an hour ago. I've been reading too much, talking about stories, about why the game is nostalgic and means a lot to me. I've been gushing over the graphics, I fucking love how this game looks. It has all the charm! But I was sad about these games losing when they went over into realistic proportions. No, well, not pixel art. I'm here to adjust in the background, don't worry about it. Like, the proportions, the sizes, like... This is giving me the same fucking style and charm that I loved about the pixel art and the DS games and earlier. I see, still though, you can't see the full game being in the starter town for so long. Well, I'm just about to leave the starter town, but I want to catch a Starly first. I'm just remembering what you guys posted in your Discord server, what someone posted there. Why? Well, I, I'm, I'm wondering if, if I catch a Starly, does that actually let me skip the tutorial where Dawn teaches me how to catch a Pokémon? Because I haven't seen that yet. Will you survive or will you die? You survived, barely. Uh, you're only level 2, I think I'll try for something else. Oh wait, no, maybe. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to try for something higher anyways. I'm having Murkrow be my burb for my run when I started. That's fair. I don't know who exists where. I haven't played Platinum since I owned it when I was way younger. And then I lost it at a fucking ski resort or it got stolen. I don't know. I lost the entire container that had all of my DS games in it. So it was Platinum, um... It was Pokemon White, and then several others. It was fucking Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4, I think. And then just a bunch of others as well, but I just lost. I stole it. You motherfucker. <laughs> no. So I haven't played this in forever. I think all the locations are still regular Diamond for locations except for Underground Special ones. The only Pokemon that I am already determined to get 
is gonna be a machoke. I watched this, he stole it. <laughs> I want to catch a machoke. No, machop, machop. Alright, I'll just catch a level 2 Starly. I want to catch a machop with no guard. Because in my first run of this game, machop with no guard? Oh boy! I didn't even know how abilities worked in the game. I'll be honest, I had no idea my Pokemon had the ability no guard. But I was noticing. For some reason, he wasn't missing. He just never missed. It blew my fucking mind, and I was too stupid to realize that was his fucking ability. But he became like a cornerstone of my fucking team. So I hope Machop is still in the same place as usual. When we get up to the stone town. Gotcha, Starly was caught. Pokemon games, experience points. Um. It's gonna become a Star Raptor, right? Oh, right, I forgot that they had the Forge Prince. That's so cute. I forgot that's a thing in this game. Oh, now I'm just remembering in the Pokemon Adventures manga. <laughs> the fucking footprint man, the guy that can read people's Pokemon's emotion by looking at their footprint. He just looks at, like, Giratina's footprints when it's in the walking form. And he, like, gets an X. He, like gets a full, several paragraph long speech about psychology and stuff that was apparently all contained in that one footprint. <laughs> uh, uh, what can I call her? Um... Mm. Man's a foot fetishist, I swear. <laughs> on one hand, it's creepy if he's a foot fetishist. On the other hand, it's also creepy if he isn't, and I don't know which one is worst. Which one is worse? What if he actually is just... not even into it that way? He actually is just super researchy about it? In a way, that's almost creepier to me. Just because it feels so surreal, I guess. Uh, so I named my Piplup Sarah for Saratonin, because Piplup is adorable and always makes me happy. What can I name Starly? I want to make it into a real name and say in case I decide to keep them around as a character or whatever. Wow, that noise is actually being picked up by my mic. Holy shit. <sighs> but for real. One thing that I'm a bit, little bit sad about in regards to the Nintendo Switch is this keyboard is cool and all, but I did kind of like the built-in keyboards into games. I thought it was kind of cool. Mm, Carl screeches noises. I was just sucking in air for my teeth gap or whatever. Hang on, can I find... Which game was it that did have an in-game... There was some game that had an in-game... Uh, keyboard. Fuck, which game was it? Um, I'm being no good dirty pirate for this game, so I'm kind of cheating on the keyboard, lol. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, fuck, what did I play? I don't remember. What are the most recent online games? Was it Animal Crossing? Maybe Animal Crossing had it? I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. What? I forgot going to the home menu closes that thing. Fuck. Oh well, Starly it is.
Maybe I'll just call them Star. Anyways, let's heal up. I think Star Raptor is also my favorite of the, uh, like, starter birds. I don't know, they're cool. Hmm, I think I know what you mean. Maybe I don't know. It, it's hard to... It's hard to know, but I'm, I'm certain there was some game on Nintendo Switch that did have its own keyboard. And I was like freaked out when I saw it, thought it was really cool. Hey, Adon! I already caught a Pokemon. What's up? Oh, that's right! Leo, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon! Just fucking snap my finger and then finger point, finger gun at her. That's where I already did it. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? No, 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 let me skip it! I've already seen this! I already know! Fuck, I was hoping I could skip it. I was really hoping I was gonna do, like, a big brain play and be able to skip this. Oh, well. It's a little hard to remember when Woozy, yeah, record team. It's not a fight against her. Or are you talking to the Bidoof? fighter team. I don't know if I can. At least not yet. The way it zoomed in on her face like that, it actually made me think they were gonna do a fucking Mega Evolution. Uh, Mega Evolution, Dynamax, Z-Move, whatever. The way it zoomed in on her face just made me think of that. Or just reminded me of it. While she's trying to teach you just for your pimple match your first term gym jar. Uh... Uh, what was it? Wasn't there like a comic? <gasps> Excuse me. Wasn't there like a comic of someone who had a... Was it a, um... Kakuna, maybe? No, 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 no. It was, um... A Magikarp. It was a Magikarp. And they would fight people just by just picking the Magikarp up by the tail and slamming him into the enemy Pokémon. <laughs> While she's trying to uh, renegade for life. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't know how to make a giggle. <laughs> no, I can make like a laughter, I can't make a giggle. <laughs> See? Isn't it easy? Oh, that just sounds like a rude giggle, like... <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> no, I, I can't fucking do it. See? Isn't it neat? At least not on command, I can't. Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokémon's HP as down as low as possible. A healthy Pokémon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokémon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokémon's move. Okay, Leo, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokéballs. You obtained Pokéballs. <laughs> it's not gonna say it like that. That was like an intrusive thought. There's the word balls, make it... it balls, say the words. It was an intrusive thought and I couldn't hold, I couldn't hold myself back. Pokeballs. You put the Pokeballs in your po bag's Pokeballs pocket. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be a safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your friends along. Okay, I need to get going now. Bye now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I have now been streaming for an hour and 25 minutes, hell yeah! How much is actually in the save file? <laughs> okay, an hour 16, so like... Mm -hmm. Approximately 8 minutes did not count. Got it. Battle? Little Jig, you're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Alright, Smets, so a battle we must. Mmm, battle me. I can't do a fucking Yoda. I wonder how this game is gonna be about the experience share. Are we gonna get it at the same time we used to? Is it gonna work like it used to, or is it still gonna be like a key item or something? Boom, boom, boom. 
Pum, 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 pum. Okay, item for what? Um, well, you don't have to answer me. Actually, please don't answer me. I'll find out when I get there. But I was just immersed. I was musing to myself about how the experience share is gonna work in this game. Like, is it gonna be a key item that you just turn on or off, or is it gonna work like a hold item again? Just musing to myself. Level up. You defeated youngster Tristan. Do you want me to spoil it? No, I specifically said don't actually tell me. Too strong, too strong. Well, you said you were woozy as well, so maybe you're just drunk. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You got 380 pokey for winning. Um, let's put... also Pokedex. Yeah. Let's put Star... in the front, just so we can level her up a bit. When battles happen. Hello. Okay, you'll find out eventually. Yeah, that's what I mean. I spy with my little eye. A trainer. Battle, please. So this is Lass, right? Neat. Last Natalie. Last Natalie sent out Bidoof. Ugh, my nose is stuffy. Well... I'm not... I should be able to survive one attack at least, right? Growl. Oof. Hello. Hello to you too, Blizzard. Yeah, let's uh, swap out. Hopefully Sarah can survive a little bit. Should I rename Sarah, Sarah Tony? Because I feel like that both uh, brings to mind Sarah Tonin more easily, and Tony is also a name. Yeah. Whenever I get to the name place, I'm gonna rename him Sarah Tony. There and hello, Blizzard. Yep. Switch Pokemon just for that neat little extra EXP. Now we're both level 3. Oh, actually, I actually outsped it now. Oh shit, can Star- can- oh, that was a crit, never mind. I was about to say, can Starry actually just get it on her own? Never mind. We'll see, though. Maybe Starry can do it on its own. More growling. Fucking hell. How are you doing today, Blizzard? Or tonight? I hope you're doing well. Okay, yeah, I'll be fine. Doing fine? That's good. Hope everyone else is still doing well, too. Seth's got five viewers. Damn, dude. Oh, wait! Sarah got experience points for that, even though we weren't in the team. Huh. I guess that's just a thing. There's a small... Uh, small... Experience here active at all times, or was it just because they were fighting the previous Pokemon? Either way, interesting. I mean, I think that was how it was in Gen 8, probably. I just don't remember it. Oh, boo, I can't win. You got money for winning. Let's head down and heal up. And after we heal up, let's see if we can find any new Pokemon to catch for it, like a Bidoof. Doofy. Let's 
specifically I'll go to this big. Oh, there's a trainer. No crew. Oh, another Starly. Never mind. Go, Starly! Go, Starry! Oh, we're the same level now. <laughs> Starly is tackle. May use Growl. Bam. Oh shit, they outsped me this time. I think I can go one more. I'm gonna need to swap out. Oof. And then I'll just use a potion instead of heading back, I think. If I need to. We'll see. I've got ten potions, so that should be fine for a while. What if I just caught this star- I'm not gonna now, but what if I just caught this starling and replaced my own starly with it? Nice. Starry is level 5, so now I won't need to replace it with one of the wild ones here. Quick attack! Ooh! That was half a step. <laughs> Oh boy! Wow! Alright! Uh, if I hit you once, you might kill me, but fuck it, let's see what happens. That was more than I was expecting. Lear, nice. Oof! What do you mean, oof? This is great! I wasn't expecting to see a fucking Shinx here. Uh, can I see status? No. Is there no button for me to bring up my, the status of the Pokémon? Like, I specifically want to see which um, which stats have been lowered, because that was really useful to have. Oh, they actually have an, or an arrow now that show which nature, or, or what the nature raises and lowers instead of just a color. I actually really like being able to see the battle statistics, like how much was left on a effect or whatever. That was useful. No! Crit! Why am I getting so many fucking crits? Like, fuck, man! What is going on? Well, I don't want to fight you yet. I want to make more po get more Pokemon. Okay, here's another Shinx. I was actually looking for a fucking Bidoof, of all things. And then I just find a Shinx? What? Uh, Dude Shinx. I don't know if I wanna, really. Let's just use Tackle. Do I still have speed? I do. Cool. How much is this gonna do? Uh, not enough to kill. I think I had seven before, so I should be fine as long as it's not a crit. Yep. And then quick attack and hope I don't miss, and then use a potion. It always feels so weird going back to the early game where every health point ca counts. Like, you don't count your health points in sets of 10 or anything like that, or in percentages. You just see you have 21 health points max, now you're at 5. Like, it always feels so weird going back to the beginning of a game like this and seeing you deal with the lower numbers where the entire number makes ma matters, makes a difference. <laughs> Whoa, Drainer Current? Oh. Interesting. Do you have an idea for the rest of your team, Carl? Nope! The only idea I have is that I want them a chop. With, uh, no guard. That's the only idea I have. I'm just gonna catch any Pokémon that I find that I think look cool and put them on my team. I'm not planning on, like, having a specific plan. If I see a cool Pokémon that I like, I'm gonna catch it, and if I like it more than one of the Pokémon I have on my team, I'm gonna replace them with it. Probably. What kind of moveset will Machop have? I mean, 
the classic thing for him when he evolved into a Machoke, because I'm not going to be able to get a Machamp without trading, um, all of those moves that have like 5 power points and have a 50% hit chance, like those kinds of moves. I think Cross Chop was one of them, and then there's the other one that like paralyzes an opponent but has a 50%, like 100 power, 50% accuracy, those things. I'm going to kill you, aren't I? Oh no, I can catch you. Like dynamic punch, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, I actually made a competitive Machamp specifically because of how well Machop was helping me in this game, or the original Platinum. Nice, there's a Bidoof. Now I saw a Shinx on this road though, and I want it. Bidoof's data has been added to the Pokedex. Nice. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> Bidoofenshmirtz. I don't think that's gonna fit, and also it's not a name I want, but I wanted to say because funny. Um... Dolly. With how Bidoof spoke in uh, Brownie, uh, that sounds uh, some kind of racially charged. I know you didn't mean it like that at all. Just still. Dolly? No, Dolly. Because of the way that Bidoof spoke, you meant the food brownie? Isn't that spelled with an IE at the end? I thought you meant specifically like the color. Like Salvador Dali, I see. <laughs> um, because of the way that Bidoof spoke in Mystery Dungeons Explorers games, where he was speaking like a country person, or whatever. Yup, yup, golly! Yup, yup. Dolly just sounds like a name that fits to me. Brownie. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I'm going with Dolly, though. She looks like a Dolly. Well, the lighting on these guys makes them look like they have a, like, a brighter brown back. Well, here's a stronger Dolly, I guess. She looks like a doll. No, she looks like a dolly. Like. Living out in a farm, kind of. What's the word? The kind that you see, like, on the postcards where it's just some girl standing leaning against a fence with, like, a straw hat. Bad stuff. And also specifically, like I said, because of Bidoof's speech pattern in Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of whatever. Come on, Shinx! No, I want Shinx. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn off battle effects just for a little while after this while I try to catch a Shinx. Critical hit. Oh no. I'm gonna get a drink. <sighs> oh, and cool. Dolly is actually getting almost as much experience as Starly. Despite being on the bench. I guess it depends on what level they are. I think I remember that also in Gen 8, but it's still cool to see that that's a thing, though. I forgot to do the thing. Can I just escape from this, just so I don't forget again? Run. You got away safely. Good. I want that Shinx. Fast. Off. Yes, confirm. <laughs> Hello. 
Uh, if you were to add one, just one Pokemon to the first few routes, who would you add? Uh, I just realized... It's past midnight! If I go real fucking fast! Can I get Rodom? I don't remember, how, how far do you have to get into the game before Rodom appears? Can you do like that immediately? Uh, I remember you had to, like, play at night, like, past midnight or some shit. That's all I remember. <laughs> I don't remember what level he was at or, like, what story progress you had to get. Fuck. <laughs> uh. It's a little different for this remake. Fair enough. Thank you for telling me that'll help me avoid just wasting time in there, at least. Another one, yeah? I'm sad that I killed the Shinx. The first Shinx that appeared. The female Shinx that I actually really wanted. Once Starly gets to the same level as Sarah, I'm gonna start using uh, Dolly instead. Shinx is rarer than I remember. I got two of them in a row, so it feels like they would be fairly common, but it doesn't seem like it. <gasps> there he is! He or she. Now that I know that they are a bit rare, I'm gonna get try and get it regardless of what gender it is. But it's a she! Wow! Uh oh, Dolly needs to heal. Let's begin with going to Sarah, so that I can then use a potion while Sarah is out here tanking. Intimidate is great as an ability, if you say so! I know that, as a player who played these games very early, Intimidate felt like a nothing ability. Because, you know, as a kid you don't give a fuck about any of the status stuff. And while it's Intimidate made actual Pokemon game. Eh, I liked Gen 8. I'll be honest, I liked it. I don't have any comment about its difficulty because, like I said, I fucked it over for myself by playing me in a really bra bad way. Trust me, bro, it's great. Yeah, I know it's great now, it's just... Right, like, I know it's great for competitive, I'm just having a hard time adjusting to status stuff actually being good for normal as well. Uh, Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not gonna let Saratoni hit them. Just take out Dolly. And I'm gonna use Quick Attack, because that's gonna be weaker, hopefully. Oh wait, no, that's Starly that has Quick Attack. I guess Tackle. <gasps> Dolly, don't kill her! One. Two. Three! Yeah! Oh fuck, now I need a name. Fuck, I didn't think about that. Oh no. <sighs> well, nice work, Dolly. Oh, I can't move him around. Oh well. <sighs> Sparky? Nah, I wanted to be some kind of name that I like, that I've maybe thought of. Hmm. Spicy. <laughs> Just to bring back, back the meme of, um... I don't know, stupid idea. Uh... Fizzy water is spicy water. <laughs> that fucking meme. No, uh, let's see. Lectra, nah. Mm. 
electric bill. <laughs> no, just a stupid joke. Mm, why is it so spicy? I don't know. Mm. Man, names are hard. <laughs> I just name it 69 and nothing else, no. Uh... Think. Name her Maria after a spicy marinara sauce. <laughs> oh, holy fuck. I think I might just call her static. It's cute electricity. Static is cute electricity. Static has been added to your party. There we go. Uh, I should probably go heal, actually. Oh shit, there's actually an, an animation for them, like... Accidentally muted you, well then. Don't say it isn't a good name. I wasn't saying it was a bad name, just not the name I wanted, because it wasn't the name that I thought of. No, why am I going here? No. Well, I was just saying that I named her Static, because Static is like cute electricity. So a bad name? Ah, no. Just not the vibe I was going for. Being a different vibe does not mean bad. Um, let's put static in the top for now. All oh, right, it's wide. Swap them around quick and easy. Right. I was trying to move them around like I was playing fucking uh, Animal Crossing or re reorienting my inventory. <laughs> not orienting, organizing. So far, I feel like this is a pretty good team. I mean, maybe I don't... Oh, shit! It's fucking Mr. Kill! No, that's just me stealing someone else's... Uh... That's just me stealing someone else's meme. This boy, though. Yeah, he even got a boy. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot... Holy shit! I mean, sure, I know the attack fell, but still. <laughs> I'ma call him Flo. His music. Maybe. <laughs> attack falling even more. Hmm, not sure about Flo. It was a girl, maybe, but for this, hmm, still maybe. I'm not sure. Go one more at least. Got it, never mind. <laughs> Fucking hell, okay, I'm swapping over to um Just so that uh here <laughs> never mind. Just so that I have someone tankier and uh 
Was it a thing where the higher level you have, the easier it is to catch the enemy? Or no, that was like speed based in er, older games? Or no, speed based was for running away. Fuck, what am I thinking of? I don't, I don't, was it level as well? Hey, nice. Stary leveled up too. Nice. Um, you know what? I will call it flow. All right, cool. We got five different Pokémon already, fucking hell. I wasn't expecting to have almost a full party already of Unique as well, without duplicates. <laughs> oh shit, no, 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 uh... Uh, both of my heavy hitters are weak to electricity. I really hope he doesn't have an electric move anymore. Or yet. I really hope I don't have an electric move yet. <coughs> also, I forgot to turn on animations. Fuck. Animations, I need to fucking remember. Animations, please! Ow, ow, I accidentally just pulled my hair. Fuck. Whoa! <laughs> 69! Nice! Because of course I have to take a picture of it. Static learned Thundershock. Okay. Static learned Thundershock at level 5, so I meant the opponent opposing Shinx would have known Thundershock as well, because they were also level 5, so that was a dangerous game I just played, I think. Only learned Defense Curl. Nice. You're like, wow. Give me your lunch money, kid. I have now been streaming for almost two hours. Uh... Uh, what am I even supposed to do? I'm here at almost two hours. Like, fuck. Oh, you're not a battle. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, some only come out at night. I'm gonna keep waiting here till I've seen every last one of them. I don't remember that being a thing. I really don't remember that being a thing. Hello. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. No! I wanted the Jubilife music! No! Hi, Leo. Are you catching Pokemon? Wow, you already got five Pokemon with you? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that joke for that long. At my pace, your Pokedex will be full in no time at all. In Jubilife City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know. Leo, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh yes, Barry went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Can I see Mr.? Is Mr. in this game? Can I find Doctor Who? Jubilife City, City of Joy. Oh, I wonder if the kids with the Game Boys are still gonna be like... When you make talk to them from the side, they just turn their head instead of looking all the way. I kinda doubt it now that it's a 3D model, but still. Hello there, trainer. If you get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Go places. Go wherever you can. You'll find many new places by doing just that. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures, but trainers, it seems the only thing that matters is battling. Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they can take on a completely different appearance. Did you know? Gaming. Evolution makes Pokemon just that much more fascinating. Alright. Nice music player here, though. That looks cool. Weird how the windows look like safes. I mean, I guess for just a style of window, but 
they look like metal safes. Hey, can I ruin your game by making you turn away from each other now? Yes, I can. Get fucked, lol. I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. No, you're not. Not anymore. Give my Pokemon an item to hold before trading it. That'll make the other trainer double happy. No, not quite. There we go. Get fucked. Uh, in the original game, they always face the same way. They only turn their head towards you. I guess because they couldn't model the DS from any other side than the front. So they only made the head turn on the side poses. I don't know. Hello, trainer. Do you know much about Pokemon? Yes. Ah, I see. You're quite well-versed indeed. I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit a trainer's school then. But do visit if you have a time. You may discover something new. Have you played both Sword and Shield and Let's Go? I've no I've played a little bit of Let's Go at a... F I borrowed a friend's account to play some Let's Go Eevee. But I do not own it myself. So I don't know if that counts or not. Oh. I don't remember what this is. Oh, right, the Global Whatever Center. Isn't ready yet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna ignore the school for now, and I don't... I didn't see Looker anywhere. Maybe he's higher up, or he's gone. God, I hope he's not gone. Fuck. You can still catch Pokémon if you already have six traveling with you. A new Pokémon can be sent to the Pokémon box. No, right, I can keep catching more and more Pokémon. I'll make it fun to check my boxes. I'm still playing like this is Animal Crossing, where I can just play, touch a little bit, like it's analog controls. But no, you go fully in that direction. I need to learn to get used to that and not think this is Animal Crossing. And uh, Mercury, I do know about the Pokémon you can get. I don't think I would use them, even after I got them. But I'm gonna get the Yurachi, at least. I think that's the one from Sword and Shield, right? You know how Pokémon have types like Water, Fire, and Grass? They say the types have strengths and weaknesses against other types. Okay. And yes, Jirachi is Sword and Shield, got it. Oh. Bikes, any- unfortunately this game isn't strongly Platinum inspired- Oh, Looker just isn't in the game at all, or what? Looker almost says serious, you can battle and trade it with other people. I would have hoped that this game would have, like, post-story, as in Platinum, the way they did it with the Delta chapter in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But I kind of am not expecting it, because, you know, it wasn't the main team, and I don't think the main team would allow the sub-team to make a very cool game. <sighs> I need to be a bit more quieter. Yeah, at least a little bit more quieter. Actually, I don't know if it sh shows in the post-game or a fair amount of updates that were distributed over the last week. Huh. I haven't looked up any of the information online at all. I have six. If I should do it, you can have six Pokemon in fight at a time. I don't think I can buy anything new, so let's not actually go here. Oh, wait, no, let's talk to you guys. Shelves are jammed. No. Want to catch a Pokemon? You should try to lower its AP first. Yep. Need potions most of all. If all my Pokemon faint, I completely black out. More fun to just play the game like you're playing right now. Yeah, that's why I'm playing it. I wasn't asking you a question, I was just musing to myself. Oh wait, no, I guess I was asking if he was gone completely from the game. Yeah. I hope he's not, because I like his music. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ublife City is a s built on land carved out of a mountain. The people in Pokemon of Orberg City helped out with that undertaking. Cool. Why do a training school around here? Study there and you may become stronger. I'll do that later. Just... Putting off schoolwork. Rawrink. Okay. Hi, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or uh, cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? What the fuck is this? Mix your records in any local room and you'll be able to join a group of friends you met there. When you're in the same group, events can happen simultaneously. It makes things a lot more fun playing in a group. Anyone can make a group and anyone can join. I've heard lots of friends so everyone can have fun. What the fuck is this? Hang on, no, tell me again. 
Make secure records in any local room and you'll be able to join a group of friends you met there. Events can happen simultaneously. What the hell does that mean? Like story events or what? I'll just go for the classic. Thank you, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Clown! 3D Clown! Oh my god, yes! Hi there! Would you you should stick around? We're doing a pocket campaign soon. Before it starts, it should brush it. I think you should brush up at a trainer's school. Okay. Clown, yes. Did you see me on TV? I was in an interview. Okay. That's wholesome. <laughs> that's wholesome lol. Uh, that's just been my default team name whenever there's any kind of group I need to make. Thanks to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. When you walk with your Pokemon, they gradually grow friendlier. Can I actually do that? Not yet, at least. Or does he just mean actually like have him in the inventory while I walk? This is museum. No, package company, okay. Fuck. What was this again? Did you need like water or tea? No, that was somewhere else. Wow, this is open? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> because it's nothing. Okay. Asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. No, oh, he's probably on the other side of the water, man. Well, that explains why it was open, I guess. Yes, sir. An old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Sure. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. Here you go. Here you go, sir. Fish wherever there's a body of water. Oh, and by the way, did you need any tips on using my fishing rod? Eh, nah, I'm good. Sure, let's go fish, I guess. But, um, yeah, let's go fish. Probably just gonna be a magic carp, because if I remember right, anything better than a magic magic carp has like only a 1% chance of actually happening. Can I just press A? No. It <laughs> couldn't quite be that easy. Register. Oh, cool. So that's how it works now. No? Uh. Oh shit, I can actually walk around in the <laughs> with a D-pad as well. And it actually uses the grid base too, that's fucking cool. Uh, so how... Do you need help learning how to do it? No. Well, I need help learning how to use the... Uh, the set items. Uh, right. Well, that doesn't tell me how to use a set item. Menu. The minus button? Minus button, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting it to be the minus button of all things. I don't know how much I like that. Alright, take care, Pop Blizzard. Landed a Pokemon. Just gonna be a carp, I'm assuming. Yeah, well, I'll catch one. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Starry night sky on the water. This is beautiful. <laughs> I like how we're all just Jesus walking on the water. Well, it, there's rocks below the water, but still. Level 7, fucking hell. Um, I'm just gonna use a Thundershock, see what happens. Oh right, you have Splash. For some reason I thought you would have Tackle. Don't you usually have Tackle? I don't know now. Okay, good. Didn't do too much. I'm just gonna name this one Carp. I'm not... If I can catch it by this. I'm not personally really a big fan of... Um, Gyarados. I don't know. So I'm just gonna name it Carp and probably put it away next time I get a different Pokemon. That and I already have a water type, you know? Yeah, nice. Oh wait, no, 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 there's a specific name that I gotta put this here on. Yeah, there's a specific name related to Gyarados that I have to have. Megargados. Fish. That's a bit tempting, but no. The Megargados is a personal name for Gyarados, or specifically Mega Gyarados. Megargados. I just used to say it wrong. Or no, I didn't say it wrong per se. Just liked it. You just say fish? That's fair. Fish. Ah yeah, where'd you come from? One leaf town, huh? It's a nice place, quiet and all. Cube Life City is a big place, might be a bit of a shock to you. Hello. By the way, have you visited the trainer school? Not yet? You really must visit there. I wanna... No! I want more Pokemon. Brick. Paralyze heal. Well, that's nice. I'd actually try and level up some of my Pokemon. Um, let's put in Flow. Let's move them all around a bit. Just based on level, lowest to highest. Oh, another Shinx, cool. Go, flow. Oh yeah, Shinx Intimidate is gonna be really annoying to encounter. I don't like having many special attackers. You know what, let's start with Growl. Just so I can survive. And they use Leer anyways. Uh, this might not go too well for good old flow. Let's just use Pound and see what happens. And then we'll probably swap afterwards because I'm getting scared. Yeah, that's not gonna go well, anyways. Uh, let's go for Sarah, yeah. I wonder where in the game I'm gonna be when I pass the four hour mark. <laughs> Seeing the thing you guys quote- I was trying to say this before but I got distracted by myself. Great, nice. Seeing the thing you guys posted about a speedrunner beating this game in uh, four hours. Still here? No worries, I saw you say fish. Hey Mercury, seeing the thing you guys posted about a speedrunner beating this game in four hours. I wonder where I'm gonna be in four- <laughs> wait. I've only got two hours left, where the fuck am I gonna be then? Struggle bug! Oh shit! Well, that's exactly what he was missing. No, you're! What? Bidoof. Bidoof and Schmerz. Okay, let's try struggle bug then. 
50. Cool. Oh, Harsh Leaf that leader. That's going to be good for when encountering special attackers. I can see how someone can get some post game in four hours. If you wanted a generic OP team, it wouldn't take too long. Yeah. Especially if, you know, like you guys mentioned there, this is a remake and you already have knowledge from a previous game. Post game is another thing, though. Yeah, especially if you mean all the, like, battle factories. Like, fuck, that would take a long time. I've never gone into, like, the battle. Well, I've gone into them. And I did as much as I needed to get past them to do the rest of the story on that island, but like... In no Pokémon game have I ever... In no Pokémon game have I ever actually gone full into any of those, like, battle factories or battle competitions or whatever. XP all makes leveling so fast, well, now I know how the experience share works, or at least one of the versions of it. Or is XP all just what it's called that everyone gets experience points automatically? Mm, getting a little hungry. Fuck it. Let's just get as much experience as we can before we get on. Oh no, I said enough. Okay. Well, let's try struggle bug. See what happens. Oh, it's gonna take a while if I do that. We'll see how it goes. Defense curl. Well, at least I don't have to worry about that. Thank you, special attack. Growl? I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Also, I love how Krikatoon in 3D just looks like a fucking bean. I'll be honest, I was tempted to name him Among Us. I was tempted to make name him Amo Amogus. So he, like, didn't hit me once. Does he only have Defense Curl and Growl? Okay, no, now here's a tackle. Like, I was wondering, how the fuck does that even happen? Wing attack. Nice! Flying type move acquired. Upset. Oh, I should have battled in the first place. Monies. I'm gonna try fishing here once just to see. Is this also just gonna be a carp? Probably, yeah. Oh, well, time to kill the carp. Oh no, the poor fish. Bring, bring, bring. Critical hit, so that's like gonna be two more to kill it properly then. Or one more even lucky, but I don't know about that. Oh no, I did it, nice. I didn't think that was gonna be enough. Okay. That only needs to be alive to do some fighting now. Can you see me while you're, I'm in grass? Nah, well, I don't know. I know like in Gen 1 they couldn't see you while you were in grass. <gasps> grass type, yes! Oh, 
I'm just... I was about to say, it did one damage to me. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch him with this, but... Nice. Um... Stop? Maybe? I could be real on the nose and just name it like Pistel or something. Sure, let's name it Pistel. Why not? Let me see, is that actually the name of it in English? Uh, let's see. Flower part names. Yeah, it is a pistol. Okay, good. Wait, no, that's for the other one. Hmm. It's a stamen one, that's for the middle. Oh, I forget card. I forget. Okay, no, Pistil is for the ma for the females, got it. The male is called the stamen. I thought it was the opposite. Add the party instead of... Megargados. Can you see me? You can, okay. <laughs> My dad gave me some Pokemon, they're gonna win for me. All right, kid. <laughs> Your own little carp. <laughs> I don't know, noises are fun. You know what? I'll take a chance, send you in, sure. Go Stamon! Please don't have Tackle. Please don't have Tackle! But nothing happens! Oh shit, we actually got a Paralyze on our team? Hell yeah! Raising the attack and special attack, okay. Now that there's not too much going on, I guess I could start talking about the story of the bad stuff that's been happening to me with technical things these past couple of days. I'll well, just wait until this is over, because text. Oh, he's actually got another one. Well, let's go static then. In that case, I can't talk. Um. So, speaking of static, actually... That's very on topic. So, my USB microphone started having loud chirps and static noises in it. I thought, hey, this is the cable broken. Sounds like the cable's broken. Okay, cool, let's try another cable. Problem is, uh, due to the fact that the microphone has the cable be set in an indentation, not a lot of cables can fit, because like the plastic that's on the plug is too much for most cables to fit into the actual hole on this one. Due to the shape. So I had to go to a store and buy a new cable. Um... 
new cable didn't fix it, it was still happening, so it turns out it wasn't the cable's fault, so then I thought, hey, it's the microphone's fault. So, I take the chance when there's a Black Friday sale, I go down to the tech store, electronic store, and I buy a new microphone. I get home, it's also chirping, making loud as static buzzing noises, not just buzzing, but actually super loud static beeping, blipping, chirping. So, it wasn't the microphone, turns out it was my computer! And a fuck ton of technical stuff later, it turns out... Something is just wrong with my computer where all the Bluetooth... Oh, what are they called? All the Bluetooth input things just sometimes glitch out a bit and send random fuck-up data, like... In microphones, that manifests as loud chirping noises a bunch. In my mouse, that manifests that it's sometimes... In my computer mouse, that manifests as the mouse sometimes teleporting from one side of a screen to the other, even though I'm holding it still. There's just something wrong with the USB slots on my computer. All of them. All, like, ten of them. So we think it might be something on the motherboard. So I'm currently just using an AUX cable that I was using for listening to music on my phone. It's a pair of headphones. Crack that baby open. If it's on the motherboard, I don't know how easy that would be to replace. I mean... No, I, I, I confused motherboard with um, hard drive, but even then I don't know enough about them. And I don't know if it is something software, like maybe doing a full-on reset would fix it, I don't know. <sighs> but that's what I'm currently... I took just a box that was laying around, I cut a hole in it, and then I threaded my uh, earphones through them. So now I just have the mic part of my earphones just hanging on the outside of a box as a makeshift stand. Kiss your motherboard. Oh, if that could only fix it. Bidoof. Well, let's start with trying to paralyze you, if I can. Hey, it hit. Nice. Um, Mercury, how high is the chance of Paralyze actually making you unable to move? Is it like 50-50, or...? Yes? Okay. So... I'm currently at extra 50% special attack. If I attack two times now, I will have made up for a missed turn, and then every other attack will have an extra half a turn. If I use this again, yeah, I think I'm gonna use growth once more. 25 chance not moving, 50% speed drop. Okay, okay. Oh, you were just saying yes as in responding to me calling your name, not as in that's actually what it does. Okay. Well, now let's absorb at twice power. Now I get to heal stamina a little bit. Yeah, I guess I have. Mm. Nice of a beat hoof to not attack us, eh, Luigi? Now stamina is all healed up. Well, now it's not healed up anymore. I don't know if Bidoof has enough health for me to actually heal up fully. He'd need to have, like... 14. I forget. Is the heal 50% of what I deal? Probably. Because that looks like he would have had 6 health, yeah. May I please trouble you for a battle? <gasps> Can I go in and catch a Zubat in the Zubat cave? That would be fun. I'm gonna assume the guy in front of it is gonna stop me, though. 
<sighs> last month was some dark but you but do so are you a stamina or a pilsen you're a pilsen okay well bird Man, Badoo has such a fucking good face, holy shit. Look at that fucking face, my god. Hmm. Chop. Dead. Nice, three level ups. I really like, but I can just walk forwards. I do miss that from previous games. I was playing like Let's Go Eevee and I was noticing just how much you could actually walk forwards without doing the story. And that really impressed me. I hope that comes back in the actual mainline games at some point. I currently doubt it because I don't believe in the people making the mainline games at all, but I hope it does. Her boulders broken away inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in pocket in the pocket would be able to break those boulders though. In the pocket? Really? So that's where they've gone now? Huh. Well I can get this at least, so I guess at least here you didn't need an NPC to stop you just blocking the way. Now it's actually something there. I don't know if it's good or not necessarily. It's not really better world building or anything, but still kind of neat. Let's explore the two houses we haven't been in yet, and then we'll go to a trainer school. <gasps> Things. Your Pokemon is quite adorable. Here, try making holding, making hold a quick claw. Cool. Pika pee. Pachi pachi. Isn't my pocket quite fetching? A trainer would simply be would be simply lost without a pocket after all. Alright, boomer. Knock a boomer. Did you buy some heal balls of a Pokemon? Heal ball completely heals the Pokemon and catches on the spot. That means you can have a Pokemon and have it be at battle ready right away. I wonder what kind of healing space is inside the heal ball. I don't know, man. What are you asking me for? Well you weren't asking, but still. I like making my Pokemon use their attacks. Sometimes when Pokemon get stronger, we learn new moves. Those new moves keep things fresh and are fun distraction for me. Fun distraction from never-ending existential dread of life, alright. Yeah, I get that. Let's give the thing to someone. You right. <laughs> uh, that's not the inventory. This is the inventory. Here we go. Uh, who has the least speed? Probably Badoo. 13, 12. Okay, Crick Tune, actually. No, no, Badoo. But Badoo is also lower level. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot stat changes on this Pokemon are double. I forgot about that. It loses that when it level evolves, doesn't it? I think I'll give it to Krakatoon. Because Dolly, I might end up replacing at some point. <sighs> Just because extra water type. Eh. Bum, 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 bada, bum. Hello. Oh, you can be sure I'll keep developing pocket chaps. Just like Pokemon, my pocket is something that evolves. Okay. Welcome to the Pocket Company. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressive. We try to think like trainers when we develop our new Pocket apps. The use of satisfaction is what we're after. Alright, dude. No secret items I can find? Doesn't seem like it.
Pachi. Cliffy. Pokemon Watch, or Pocket for short. Say it a long way, and... What does Pokemon stand for again? Anyway, I'm... <laughs> So Pokemon Watch would be Pocket Monsters Watch, okay. You fuse all of them together for Pocket, got it. Anyway, I'm the father of the president of a Pocket company. Even though it would more like just be po Pocket Watch. <laughs> There's no mod in Pocket. Pocket apps. Uh, yeah, I don't have any apps anyway, so. I don't even have a Pocket yet. Oh, never mind, same thing. Okay, when I use the D-pad, I can actually use... Um, I can use the B button to run. Cool. Okay, no, same thing still. So this place is kind of the same as Gen 6. You can use the stick to move in free range, and then you can... And also move fast in free range, and then you can use the D-pad to move normal speed, and then hold the B button to run. With, um... The thing. Okay, if I use the deep, if I use the stick in any direction, deep pad loses functionality. I was just curious if they would fight over input. Sure. Go, my Pokemon, go. I think when I played Pokemon Platinum originally, like I didn't fight these guys in the beginning of a game. <laughs> I just came back here after I beat the game because I never even realized you could fight them or something. I think something like that happened, but I could be wrong. Well... Oh shit, Abra can do something. I thought Abra didn't have any attack yet. Oops. Alright, it's electric type, okay. Closest I have is Struggle Bug, but that's a special attack, so that's not gonna help very much now. Uh, can't really go for a wing attack with that. Thundershock, no. Might just go for Saratoni and use Pound. You know what? That was a bad idea. I forgot all about the whole electric type thing. <laughs> Shit. Well, I can hit once more at least, because that's just special defense. Whack. Ah, oh, close. If I survive, I can actually hit you before you hit me. What? I thought I ha had less than max health, so I should... Ah, fuck. Wait, no, that's special attack! I thought it was special defense! Shit! Really? Oh, charge and charge beams are different attack. Fuck. Uh, I fucked up. Well, let's just use quick attack. I fucked up. <laughs> I just fucked up. Man, if I had realized that, I would have used Cricketune and just spammed Struggle Bug instead. Or Cricketot. Flow. Fuck. Well, let's go heal then. I think after I'm... When the game lets me leave Jubilife... I might stop there for tonight. I think that's gonna be my plan for now. I've been going for almost... For a bit over two and a half hours now.
Yeah, I'm not gonna read all the text anymore. <laughs> Fuck, this is too much. That's cute with the Pokeball. That Pokeball decoration on the bag is cute. So everyone had charged be charge beam. What the fuck are you gonna do? Same thing or oh yeah, stun spore. Being stupid. Yeah, charge beam as well. What? Synchronize. Well, that's fine, because I was going to swap Pokemon anyways. Back over to Flow for Struggle Bug. <sighs> My head is also starting to feel a little bit of pain, so yeah, I'm going to stop once I'm ready to move on from this town, I think. Let's hope this won't be too strong. Fuck, that's going to kill me. Oh, no, crit. Never mind. In that case, I think I might be fine next hit. So I had speed, so that's good. Oh, close. Oh, special attack fell! Oh, get fucked! I didn't even realize that was that good of a counterplay. It just obliterates his special attack again. Get fucked. Get some TMs, cool. TM tens. So does that mean they're one time uses again? Yeah, only one time use. I'll be honest, that's not the change I like. I liked that they were more than one time use. Because some of the TMs you, like, can't get back after you use them. Like, they're limited supply as far as I know. Honestly, I thought it's cooler to have a TM be, like, a perma-use thing, but then it's harder to get them as, I, as a trade-off. Oh, well. Oh shit, are we actually gonna get to fight him and hear his battle music? Oh yeah, I forgot we were supposed to deliver the parcel. The only thing I have to say is, I hope he does the animation at the beginning of a fight where he stomps up and down. What, not even getting any fights, really? Huh. Oh well. You're not Looker. Okay, well I know where one clown is. Here's another. Okay. <laughs> cool. Do Pokemon get stronger by earning experience points? No! Do you count? Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Good questions. So they all, the answer for all of them is yes. Okay. I really think that I must have played this game before I knew English, because I feel like I remember struggling at a lot of these parts. I, I feel like I must have been playing it before I knew English. Boom, ba -da -da -bum -bum -bum. Nice. 
control it by using the... Oh wait, right, yeah, this is a Switch. It does have a touch screen. <laughs> I forgot. Well... Oh, I see, I see. So you can do that. Oh, step counter. My Pokemon team. Alright. Should probably heal, actually. Oh, that's what's vibrating, okay. This is a thing balancing very precariously. So whenever I was shaking my table, it kept making drrrr noises. So is it actually gonna allow me to get out now? Ah, uh, it is. Oh, are we gonna fight? I was hoping for it. Yes, good. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing! No, not the thing! Damn! Oh well. Fucking bop! A real fucking bop! God. My VTuber looks like he's freaking the fuck out whenever I do the head banging. This nerd only has two Pokemon, what the fuck? Cocky kid, this isn't over yet. <laughs> That's not a quote I was expecting to come from you. What? Nice, many level ups. They're actually keeping in a fairly decent range with each other. That's good. Turtwig. Well, let's go for my own Starly then. Or should I let Flo take care of this? Yeah, sure, Flo. Go for it. I don't know if I would have actually attacked fast first or not. I am alive! Well, hello there, Blizzard. <laughs> Glad you're alive, I guess. Turdwig is so fucking cool. Oh, nice. Crits. Fuck. There's so many crits in this game. I got level 10, hell yeah. What just happened? I lost? Lots of money, nice. Oh shit, Cricketheart is evolving already? I didn't know he could do that. Um... Let me just check. Cricketune. 
one thing that I want to make sure, with evolution specifically, is that I don't want to miss... I don't want to miss, like, an attack that they can only learn in their pre-evolution, or at least I want to know about it so I can make up my mind if I think it's okay or not. So I am looking up Cricketot and Cricketoon on the website, on uh, Bulbapedia. Wait, that's not the right page. Hang on, that's not Bulbapedia. What the fuck? Where's Bulbapedia? Uh, let's see now. Game data. No moves exclusive to prior evolution. Okay, good. Go right ahead, Flo. Go right ahead. What? Um, some Pokemon can only learn certain moves before they evolve, so I was just looking that up to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. Congratulations, your flow evolved into a Cricketune. Cricketune's data will be added to the Pokedex. I love the sound of this guy. Cricket Pokemon. Signals its emotions with its melodies. Scientists are studying these melodic patterns. Lung Fury Cutter. Nice. Well, how, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going back to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on Arberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that, totally. I'm gonna look around a little bit, but I'm not gonna... ...do anything. I'm not going to get into any trainer fights. I'm just looking. Okay. I'm going to go back and heal. And then I'm going to stop for today. Almost three hours just to get out of Jubilife. Just looking, you know. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, get in into anything. It is now 2 a.m. Oh, town map. Let me just take a look. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Safe. Alright. I am going to stop the stream. It's 2 a.m. where you were. Yeah, just became 2 a.m. pretty much. Well, now it's 2.01 a.m., but... I'm going to go ahead and cut the stream, end the recording here. Go to sleep, Carl? I will in a bit, don't worry. <laughs> um, I guess just thoughts on this game? I'm enjoying it so far, I'm glad to be playing it. <laughs> we'll see exactly how much I end up playing and doing. We'll see. I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm not as into it as I am when a new game comes out and I'm like super interested in exploring everywhere because, you know, it's something I've already done. I don't remember if I felt the same way about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because it was a long time ago. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really excited about a lot of the stuff that I see, whether it's the way the game looks or the nostalgia or seeing things be the same and sometimes change in really good ways both times. Or, yeah. And... 
it's a new experience for me. Because Gen 4 is so specific compared to the other generations for me. I have such specific emotions for Gen 4 that this is a new experience. Like, I've played remakes before of Pokemon games, but not one that mattered this much to me, so it's, uh, well, new emotions, new experiences. I definitely am enjoying it. The reason I'm speaking so doubtfully is because I'm just worried after playing Pokemon Snap and realizing, um, like, I enjoyed that game. At the end of every stream, I would be, except for one time that some guy spoiled who the boss was, was gonna be, and that made me feel really bad, because it's someone I would have been really excited about finding out on my own. Other than that one time, I ended every stream being really happy and excited for the next time I was gonna stream. Even the final part of the story, I was still happy. Yeah, I'll do another one where I take care of extra stuff, and it's now months later and I still haven't done it. So I guess... I'm not sure. We'll see. I just hope this isn't gonna become like Pokemon Snap, where I did really enjoy it, but then I never felt like actually starting it and picking it up. I hope that's not gonna be what happens. But I, the only way to find out is to give it some time and see what happens. Anyways, uh, that's almost three hours to get out of Jubilife City. Nice work, Carl. I'm gonna head off now. Y'all take care. Bye.